Yo, what's going on guys? It is the Lone Courier here today and we are back with another Advanced Warfare video. Today, we are going to be reviewing the AMR9 SMG. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys can take a little different look at this gun because for a, for a while, for a long time, this gun was known as being truly terrible but I have gave it a chance recently and it's not too bad actually. I could actually see myself using this little gun, this gun a little bit more than I normally would, so yeah. Be sure to use it after you've watched this video, give it a little chance, because it's a good gun, I promise you guys. Right, so here we go. AMR9. The AMR9 is unlocked at level 44 in multiplayer, being the last SMG you will earn before you prestige, or before you hit the max level cap at 50. I don't know, it depends if you prestige or not, but whatever, you know. So the AMR9 is a variable damage per bullet weapon. At any range shorter than 8 meters, the AMR9 will deliver 34 damage, netting a free shot kill or a one burst kill in hardcore game modes, or it'll be a one shot kill in hardcore. At any range between 8 meters and 25.6 meters, the AMR9 will deal 20 damage, netting you a five shot kill, or a two shot kill in hardcore game modes, so that'll be a one burst. At any range past 25.6 meters, the AMR9 will deal 19 damage, netting a six shot kill, five shot kill if four of the bullets are headshots, or a two shot kill in hardcore. This damage profile makes the AMR9 very deadly in close quarters combat and I seriously promise you this gun will shock you at close range because it either can do absolutely terrible, that's just honest here, or it can do insanely good. So, you know this gun is, it's actually a really, I'm, I'm really into this gun, you know, like this gun is absolutely terrible but it's, I like it at the same time. And I'm just going to have a little talk about the gun here. What you're going to want to use for attachments is you're going to want to have your AMR9, okay? You want to put a foregrip on there. You're going to want to have a red dot sight. I don't know if you want to use a red dot sight. If you personally don't like the iron sights, I'd recommend using an optical. It depends really because I find most optics other than thermal are good for this weapon. Even the, even the, you, you, you will be shocked by this, but even the ACOG sight is good for this gun. Honestly, I've got a little clip in this video where I've got a little bit of gameplay with the ACOG sight on it and you will be shocked at how good this gun works with the ACOG. Seriously, it's almost like this gun was built for the ACOG to be honest with you. So, the AMR9. It's a 5 round burst weapon, but it's got a fairly average delay time. Well, it's got a fairly long delay time after each burst. And here's the thing, is the AMR9, the per burst fire rate is 923 RPM. But you've got to remember you've got frame rounding and stuff so it's less likely that it does fire at 900 and it's probably more likely to be 900 but yeah your overall fire rate in multiplayer will be 800 which is probably after frame rounding and with the burst delay so that's that this weapon has actually got really low recoil it's, i'd say it probably has the same recoil per shot as other SMGs, but it's got um, it's got a really elevated center speed, which means like the recoil doesn't really show up too much. But I still prefer having a foregrip on there, just to keep your, you know, to make it like a laser, you know, because I prefer having deadly accuracy. So the AMR9 has an above average magazine size capacity for its class. It's got 35 rounds, or if you have extended mags on you will have 52 rounds also the amr9 with your 35 round burst with your 35 rounds in the magazine that is seven bursts and i'd say roughly for your extended mags that will be probably about four four or three yeah it'll be about four yeah it'll be four because you can't obviously have plus You'll have odd bullets, you know, like you'll end the magazine with two bullets left, probably. So yeah, you'll get just above 10 bursts, and that'll be it. So yeah, the AMR9's got tight hip fire, which means it's really, really good for hip fire. It's got a fairly quick reload time, and it takes, let's, let's just check here, it is 1.8 seconds loaded, 2.1 seconds empty, or it'll be 1.3 seconds for a fast reload. I would recommend that you reload it not a fast reload just normal 
because this gun seems to use a lot of ammo so you're going to want to use the regular reloading you don't want to speed reload with this because you know it just you end up with no ammo so yeah the amr9 it's got the usual assortment of attachments that you'd expect for it you know like <clears throat> it's got the foregrip, it's got the parabolic microphone, it's got the silencer, extended mags, quick draw, stock, all those attachments. But what I said is what I recommend for this weapon. I would definitely recommend using a foregrip, red dot or an ACOG and also a advanced, no not advanced rifle. But I, I, um, you probably want to use advanced rifling or quick draw or stock, I don't know. But this weapon, it just seems to do well without advanced rifling anyway. So I would rather use it without. Because you know the thing is, is like with SMGs in this game, is I don't really like using advanced rifling with SMGs due to the fact that they are SMGs, you know? They're not meant for long range, so it's almost kind of pointless putting it there. And the 300 kill variant or the marksman variant of this weapon is called the amr9 outlaw it will give you plus two range for minus one handling and minus one mobility so the outlaw is a pretty good variant no in fact it's got minus one fire rate as well i wouldn't take it with the minus one fire rate because i really really dislike the fire rate on this weapon in fact I wouldn't recommend using a rapid fire either because I see a lot of people using rapid fire and there was a little stealth nerf for this that I caught, I think it was in one of Drifter's videos, if it was, you know, go and check Drifter out. He does in-depth guides for these weapons and they're really, really interesting. So yeah, um, there's a little stealth nerf to rapid fire and I think it reduces your damage and range or it reduces your range. and You'll notice that if you use the ASM-1 Reckless compared to the base ASM-1 that you'll take more shots to kill and that's just why I wouldn't recommend using it on the AMR-9 which already has a shockingly low rate of uh, damage anyway. So the variant I'd recommend you use for this weapon isn't an elite, it isn't a professional, it is an enlisted variant actually. Recommended you use, it is a rarity, ra rarity, it is an enlisted. The advantages is you have a 1090 RPM per burst and you've got 923 overall. Obviously that's not the exact number because of frame rounding. The disadvantage is the minus one damage and that modifies your long range damage. But let's be honest, this gun didn't really have good long range damage anyway. So it is 34, 20 and 16 for this weapon, which means that the long range damage has been reduced. A good variant and it's actually surprisingly more enjoyable than I thought it would be. It works well with a silencer, although I wouldn't really recommend reducing your range even more on this weapon unless you're playing really close quarters maps like Biolab. So this weapon, it's a really good gun, don't underestimate it. I'd recommend you give it a chance, you know, just get used to the way the gun feels at first and then you can go crazy with it because let's be honest, you do that a lot with weapons anyway, you get used to it at first and then you go crazy, you know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see a lot more people using the AMR9 in the future because it's a really good gun, honestly, once you get past its downsides, it's a really, really awesome weapon and it's always good to see someone using a different weapon for once. So. In the past few lobbies I've been in the last few days, I've seen an increase in people using AMR9s, you know, because obviously I've been using mines non-stop, and I've been seeing people use them for kill cams and stuff, and it's just kind of like, you can see that people have been using them because you can see you getting a kill cam with it, so they think, I'll use that gun, and they've been, in, they've been doing pretty good with it, so yeah, it's a really good weapon, it's easy to do well with actually, and yeah, don't, don't think it's as bad a weapon as it is, it got buffed. It's a lot better than it used to be. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see another one of these weapon guides, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment if you want to see this series return. I've already done another episode on the KF5 Elite Breakneck. If you want to watch that, you can always check it out on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. It's been the Long Courier.